Hello everybody, I'm Bagel or Bagel Plays, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Planets Cubed. Um, this is an early construction prototype of the game. Um, this game was on Kickstarter a little while ago, um, and the backers, they, they have access to this. But uh, anyways, this is just an early prototype thing, so it's, it's not even, as it says over here, it's not even the alpha, it's just an early prototype. It's more just to give you kind of a feel of what it's going to look like. But anyways, we're going to jump into it and play a little bit. So, for those of you who don't know what this game is, um, it's this. All the graphics are really low right now, because obviously the game isn't going to be very well optimized. But, uh, let's see if we go to options have a uh, don't have any I can turn I guess I'll turn these up real quick Just turn things up a little bit actually wait okay one second we're gonna do this and go back leave so I'm gonna show you what the graphics are like when they're turned up once again this isn't gonna be full I mean it'll, it'll improve more I'm sure by the time it's actually released but it's actually not as laggy. It was more laggy before, so I turned it down, but now there we go. There's a little more lag. But uh, anyways, this is what it looks like when it's turned up a little bit higher, but I'm going to just turn that down just because uh, when that's up, it tends to cause some lag issues. I figure it's better just to have it down. It runs a lot smoother. So, anyways, uh, yeah, right now there's not a whole lot in it. It's pretty much just to give you an idea of what it's going to be like and to let you build some stuff. Um, this is a car they made. Can't drive it, I don't think. I tried. Couldn't find a way to drive it. If I go into fly mode, I don't even think you can get in it. But, anyways, <laughs> whoops, wrong whoopsies. There we go. Um, anyways, this is just a little, I guess, sort of to show you like what you can build. I think this is the only thing that they actually built. This, I believe, they actually have a video of this, of them building this. This was built in game and everything, so. Um, yeah. So, you can dig, you know, it's like a a lot of people are gonna be oh it's Minecraft clone it's it's different but yes it does have the whole voxely thing to it but uh first of all it's a lot smaller cubes than Minecraft had so that's the first thing Let's see if I can actually make this into a real stairway whoops I messed that up oh well you know what? it's it's gone okay um, but you will you can travel into space I'm not sure how far out you can go right now how far out man but uh, I know that is a thing and you'll be able to travel to different planets and stuff but uh, you can actually go into this flying mode right now I did sort of mess around and go up a little ways we'll do that later though um, so right now there's just a couple few tools in here. Whoops. No, come on. There we go. And that guy. Those are the tools. They just let you dig bigger holes basically. So you can uh, do that. Pick a whoops, pickaxe. Just does like one thing, but it makes it pretty deep. Um, shovel. And whatever this thing is, what's it called? It's called the uh, robotic arm digger. So in case you were wondering what it was, this one has a pretty big digging area. But anyways, so you can sort of uh, dig and stuff. Right now, of course, this is just prototype, so there's not really a whole lot going on. There are these little hedgehogs. There's one over here. It's a cute little hedgehog. I think that's what they are. So someone said they were on the forums. Oh, I don't think you can actually do anything with them, but 
they're there. Kind of look like a porcupine in a way, just because they're all spiky. Are you going to walk through me? Oh, I can stand on top of you. Um, yeah, you can also build. There's all these blocks here. If you hit I, you go to the inventory. Inventory. And there's a whole bunch of different things here. I'm assuming, you know, once they get the game actually going, these will all have different sort of properties and everything. But for right now, they just have different colors. And right here, when you put it in here, you can see there's different like shapes that you can use. There's the cube, this, all these different shapes. I guess I can actually go through and do like this kind of a thing. That's like the same block, isn't it? I mean, it's a little different. Um, I haven't actually experimented with all the different kinds of blocks. Well, it actually worked out pretty good. I had the perfect amount of space. But uh, yeah, when you're placing things, you can see it gives you a little sort of this is what it's going to be view. Um, so there's a cube, here's this thing. You can also rotate these, I believe, if you hold it different. Yeah, R and T and different things. T rotates it that way, Y rotates it. But, uh, so there's all sorts of different shapes on here and stuff you can play around with. Um, and this one, which I need to rotate that so you can kind of see it. I guess that is different than that other one. But anyways, um, yeah. And there's like a little ramp sort of a deal here. Make a cool, cool ramp. Drive a car up. Um, is this a pyramid type thing? I guess that's kind of a interesting block there. And then there's this guy. You can actually make like little pyramids and stuff. If you do this correctly. You rotate. Okay, well I did it before. There we go. And might need to use one of these other ones. Um, how about Y? That might work. No. <laughs> um, I'm determined to make a pyramid here. Wait, was that it? There we go. And one last little piece here. Um, they all, the R, T, and Y all rotate it, but they rotate a little bit differently. But anyway, so you make little pyramids and stuff. It's pretty, pretty crazy, I know. But uh, so anyways, those are all the different kinds of blocks and stuff. You can also do, if you drag, you can make like big big old things there. You can make a big old pyramid. Big, big pyramid. Like Egyptian size. Maybe not quite Egyptian size, but you know, big. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, get that on there the right way. Oh, I had it. There we go. And boom, and big old pyramid. So, anyways, there's not you know a ton to do right now. It's pretty much just building stuff. But uh, whoa. But you know it's something. So, I'm not gonna complain. Make a giant ramp. Maybe not too giant. Make a little ramp. So, anyways, there's not you know there's not a ton in the game yet, but. Um, that's sort of, you know, you can build stuff, and obviously this is just a prototype, so it's not anywhere near a finished game, but I want to just fly around a little bit. If you hit F2, you can go into this fly mode. I want to just fly around a little bit. The thing, one interesting thing about this game is that the planets are cubed, hence the name Planets Cubed, but, uh, so I'll show you once we get to the over there. You turn the corner and it's kind of a cool little thing. We have gotta head over there first. So I'll probably end up speeding this up or something so you don't have to just sit here and watch really boring footage of 
slowly drifting across the landscape. Getting close to the uh, to the edge here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get out of fly mode. It's pretty fly, but you know, whatever. Um, so this is this is the edge of the world here. And what? Yeah, it's it's a little a little trippy, but uh, come to the edge and then you walk around. And you like get oriented to this side. It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Just go. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I think it's neat. Um, and then you're on another side of the world. And one thing I noticed earlier was ignore this for a second. Um, it's a little bit darker over here because the sun. I believe that is the sun. See how it's kind of lighter up here because you have the sun directly shining on it. And then over here, it's darker. So, anyways, I thought that was kind of neat. You know, attention to detail and all. So, uh, yeah, wood. Well, those those are the other planets. Actually, let's go into fly mode. And uh, this is about as far as I got. I kind of actually went up into the sky a little ways, but that was about as far as I got. I didn't do a whole lot. Pretty much just wanted to do a quick little what what's going on in this thing. But uh. Yeah, so if we come out here, you can kind of see it's a pretty good little transition between uh, like the world and space. You still kind of see the world and everything, but you know, you're sort of outside the atmosphere. I think it looks pretty nice. I forgot how many planets they said there were, but I believe you can go to the other ones. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh god. Oh, I died. I didn't know you. Oh wait, what? Oh, I must be out. Am I just out in space now? Is that what's going on? I never made it this far before, <laughs> so I'm not totally sure what's going on. Maybe this is as high as you can go. I can't. Okay, so that must be up, and that's down. Okay, I get it now. That was that was weird. <laughs> I got disoriented for a second there. All right, we're fine. Actually, I want to go back into the atmosphere real quick. Okay, so it's kind of a, I guess it's totally not seamless. It's kind of a, once you leave the atmosphere of the planet, there's a little bit of thing. But I wanted to come over here real quick and just see, oh God, you move so much slower. I think they said they sped up space time, space, space travel so that you could travel between planets easier but uh, so when you're on the planet it goes really slow I wanted to see if it was going to be like darker on the other side see if there's like a dark side of the moon kind of thing except it's a planet actually I don't know that I've gone underwater yet Let's see what that's like Oh, <laughs> okay, so don't think they have water completely 100% ready to go. Okay, so the sun was over there, I believe. So, I come over here. Should be darker. I can't tell if it's darker. Well, whatever. I just wanted to test that out. All right. To space we go. Probably have to speed this up again, just to uh, cut down on some of these travel times. But that is a big mountain. Jeez, <laughs> I didn't realize how big that was. I wasn't holding down shift to go faster. I'm a dumb dumb. This must be a more mountainous side or something. Okay, we're gonna go to that planet right there, or that one. Which one's closer? Those ones look like they have maybe a little bit more water, and these ones are more deserty. Hmm. Wasn't aware there were different biomes. And whoop, everything goes all weird. All right. God, that is disorienting. Okay, we're gonna go to this planet.
Wow, it looks very uh, undetailed when you're way out here. Hmm. So, I believe they're going to have like spaceships and all that kind of stuff in the actual game. It's not just going to be uh, purely... You're not going to be able to just press F2 and start flying. And you're going to have to go through and like build a spaceship and do all kinds of... Ooh, this has a little bit different atmosphere in it. It's interesting. A little different, yeah, a little more sandy, deserty, marshish, marshes, Mars-ish. Not marsh. It's not. It's not marsh. It's not. Doesn't have gators and stuff. All them gators. So there's different kind of atmospheres and stuff, I guess. Which is cool. This one has a little more green atmosphere. A red sort of deserty vibe going on here. So, anyways, I just wanted to kind of jump in, take a look at it. Um, this is the prototype. I think I'm gonna. Oh, there's trees and stuff here. Oh, I didn't realize that. Are there gonna be different animals here too besides hedgehogs? That'd be kind of neat. Probably not. All right. Well, I think I think I'm gonna end it there. I mean, there's not a ton to do unless you're going to build stuff, which, uh, you know, I'm lazy. I will, I will later, but right now they're, they're going to be changing a bunch of stuff and it probably won't even carry over. So I'll probably lose it all. So I figure I might as well just, uh, wait, do it later. Okay. These are trees. I was going to say it's kind of weird, but it's, it's fine. I understand it now. So, uh, yeah, I guess you just have like a red forest tree. That's kind of cool. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'll put a link to the website and everything in the description. All that good stuff. Um, remember, this is an early prototype, so it's not at all a final kind of a thing. So there'll be a lot of improvements, a lot of changes. Should be good times. So I'll be making more videos of this as it gets closer to uh, to being released. So anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys next time.